Well, here's how I clean a turtle. Uh, if y'all seen the other video, it's the same turtle. However, it's the next day, but see him still moving? Look at that. <laughs> They're unlike any other animal. They got such a crappy brain that their muscles are actually overdeveloped to compensate for having a crappy brain. But anyways, here's what you're gonna need to clean one. Uh, minimally, all you need is a knife. But it, it's all these other tools make it a lot simpler. And you'll see them in use as we go along. First thing first, two knives, one dull knife for the rough work, for cutting around the edge of the shell. And then a, a good sharp knife for everything else. So, here we go. So, that's how you get the edge of the seam. That's all you cut. Do not cut around this edge of the shell. You cut, this is your carapace, this is your plaster. Follow the plaster. Do not follow the carapace because you're going to need to leave that hide attached to the carapace to pull away later on. You need that. <clears throat> now, also, on a more lively turtle, these legs are going to get in the way all the time. They're going to be scratching you, clawing you to death. Uh, another cool trick about these, if you want to save the nails off one, grab like that and give it a twist and off comes that nail and you can save them make necklaces make all kind of things out of them if you're worried about saving the nails that's just a bonus tip however taking a foot off getting that joint and open it up just like that now that foot cannot scratch you Another trick, if you take a board with a nail sticking up, which we're going to save the shell, that's why we're not doing this. If you got a board with a nail sticking straight up, you pick that turtle up and boom, slam him on there and he'll sit in one spot and you can twist him around. That's actually a more efficient way of doing it, but like I said, we're saving the shell. So that one's out of the way. Repeat the process. Getting that joint, open it up. You can see he's still fighting, but he's obviously dead. If I had that board there right now, this wouldn't be happening. Like I said, definitely this is the more efficient way of getting it done. come off pretty easy uh, now that he ain't gonna be clawing me and I know he ain't gonna be clawing me now you want to follow around this don't go too deep you're gonna stay as much guts as possible like so and you want to angle that knife towards the plaster up here you don't want to cut into the meat you want to keep as much meat off of this shell as possible There's your plastering off. I had one guy tell me it looks like a little spaceship or something. I don't know, but it 
anyway, you can save it if you want to. I ain't overly worried about it. <clears throat> now we're getting into the meat of the situation. And I also noticed this time I ain't got a bowl to put the meat in, so we're taking a break. <clears throat> now that we got that, now we can now we can continue. <clears throat> See some of that shot still in him there. Anyhow. And even with them being dead and all that stuff, you still need to be prepared for them to fight you the whole way. Uh, now we're getting into this shoulder here. Now shoulder's got this bone that goes straight up and down from the main portion up here. So what you want to do there, get your knife between the shell and that bone and just hug it and come on out with it. You feel it give. Now, I know y'all can't see that, but either way, it just give on me, so. There's that bone right there. It sits in there just like that. So you want to reach in and get around that bone, fill it with your tip and come around. If you got to hit it from another angle, do it. And now, once again, leave that skin on this carapace. When you do that, you just pull that leg right out. Just follow her close, just regular skinning job. There's a the leg. Turtle meat. <coughs> Anyhow. Now you pretty much repeat the process on this other side. that other bone. There's two legs. Now then, normally the head would be off, and I will address that later, but y'all get the idea. Now then here, get some of that out of the way. It's a windpipe. You don't want that. 
Alright. Now then, time for the neck. Like I said, normally this head would not be here, so I'm having to doctor this up a little different. Okay, now this, there ain't really much magic to it. There we go. That's that head off, or out of the way at least. Now, this is pretty so explanatory. Just get near the shell and hug it. A lot of times in the past, I got to this point and I'll just ring it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it this time because I got that hatchet sitting there, but if all you got the knife, you can just ring that off. I am going to cheat a little bit. There's your neck meat. That's where the white meat comes out of a turtle, right there. Now every part of this turtle you're going to notice has got a different color meat. You see some of this orange looking meat. You're going to have purple looking. You're going to have dark meat, light meat. You're going to have all kinds of stuff and all in one turtle. I've heard tales of up to seven kinds of meat in a turtle. I've only been able to find like four, but that's okay. You get the idea. Now, roll them around. Try to get some of this tail. Because who don't want a piece of tail? Now he's obviously dead, but so much he's still fighting me. His head's not even attached. He's been this way all day. All night. This was a male, so there's something else you got to worry about. Alright, and this is about like finding the ball joint on the deer, so. If you're familiar with that, it'll be pretty simple. You just keep raking till you find it. There it is. There's a the back leg. A little bit darker meat. Turtles are rough on your knife. Just keep that in mind.
There's another back leg. Alrighty. The tails have always been aggravating to me, but it is what it is. Just use tip of your knife and just keep going around just a little piece at a time. It's a pain in the butt, but you gotta get done. Once again, using that hide left on the shell as a pulling weight. He's got these rough ridges runs up and down his tail. You got to work around each and every one of them. It's kind of aggravating, but once again, it's got to be done. Sometimes you get your knife sunk into them and then lift up on your knife, it help raise it out of there like that. And just keep working your knife around. And you go down till you think you got enough. And there's that tail still curling in my hand. Look at that. It ain't even attached to nothing. We're gonna give it a ring. There's his turtle tail. <clears throat> now the rest of this, I'm just gonna get it out of the way for personal preference. All this junk has got to come up and out of the way because we want to get to the little bit of meat hung in the back here. Now I didn't know about this for years and when I finally discovered it I was like holy crap because that's, that's the best meat on a turtle now that ain't no joke. This old hip out of the way. And I still ain't discovered a good way of going about this yet.
I don't know them joints well enough in there. Either way, hit gone. Now, we'll get down to this meat. Now, with a knife, it'd be extremely aggravating to get this out. I ain't gonna lie to you. Still ain't gonna be super easy, but here's the meat we're looking at. So what you gotta do is you gotta come in on each side of this uh, backbone and take out every rib coming this side and that side on both sides to get in there and get that sweet meat out. So, that's where a hammer and a hatchet comes into play. Also, if, it's on that, if you had that board with a nail in it, this wouldn't be tearing up as much, so there's that too. Or wouldn't be moving as much. coming handy for getting the bones out. There's your little back strap out of the turtle. Go around to this side and repeat the process. There you go. Here's the other piece out. So, there's the waist. And there's the meat you get out of a turtle. I'm guessing six pound of meat roughly so for something that you can just easily swing on the side of the road and pick up by the tail and take home you can easily get probably six seven pound of meat out of so that's how I clean a turtle if y'all know a different way let me know but 
Hope y'all enjoyed that.